All right, hey everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us today. My name is Joe Belderman, Vice President of Innovation at Cypress Living. I'm so delighted to be here today with Beth Crenshaw and Hayden Butcher from the Cypress Cove uh, Sales and Marketing Center. We want to talk to you today a little bit about Microsoft Teams. And Teams is going to be a platform that we're rolling out at Cypress Cove along with the Office 365 migration. You've no doubt seen a few emails from me on that topic, and this is email number four in that series. So, um, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Um, so, Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is the fastest growing uh, platform, piece of software that Microsoft has ever released in the history of Microsoft. Um, more than Microsoft Word, more than Microsoft Outlook, more than Microsoft Xbox even. Uh, Teams has been more widely adopted faster than any other uh, platform that Microsoft has ever developed, which is pretty incredible. If you've watched any amount of television over the last couple of months, you've no doubt noticed that there's been some uh, Microsoft Teams commercials on TV, uh, highlighting the use of Microsoft Teams in the wake of COVID-19. Uh, the London Police Department is using Microsoft Teams, uh, connecting all of the police officers and all of their uh, administrative staff together. Um, many healthcare organizations are using Microsoft Teams. Um, I think John Hopkins was an organization that was featured on one of those commercials uh, talking about their adoption of Microsoft Teams and how that's been a real lifesaver for them uh, in COVID-19 times. We at Cypress Living have been on Microsoft Teams since about September last year in 2019 and uh, we've also rolled out Microsoft Teams for Cypress at Home. And I know that that's been a super effective tool for them to use in keeping connected with all of the caregivers, keeping connected with remote staff, and just keeping connected with each other um, for a host of different platforms. So if you've used Teams in the past, uh, you would probably describe it as a instant messaging or a text messaging type. And that's true, it is capable of doing that, but I call it more of a unified communication platform because it's so much more than chats and instant messages. Um, there are, of course, group messages and teams that you can create within the software. Um, you collaborate way more than you can through a text message. You can share files, you can share videos, you can uh, create digital whiteboards and share whiteboards with one another. Uh, through Teams, it's super, super powerful. I think we've really only begun to tap into the capabilities of Teams, um, and no doubt we'll begin to unlock more of its potential as we continue to use that application. But today I'm here with uh, Beth and Hayden, because Beth and Hayden, you guys are power users of Microsoft Teams already. Um, I ran a report over the last 90 days that showed kind of uh, who's been using Microsoft Teams in the existing Cypress Code, um, Office 365 10. And you guys were top five. Congratulations. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I wanted to get your perspective of, you know, why Microsoft Teams has been an effective tool for you. What has caused you to become top five users of this <laughs> brand new platform that we've unofficially rolled out? Um, at Cypress Code. What is it that you like about Microsoft Teams? How do you guys use it? So we started using it because when the Oaks office opened, um, Melissa and I wanted to be able to communicate really fast with each other rather than email since we're both assistants and just wanted to stay very involved with each other. So I actually asked Tiger for the best way for that and he said to use Teams, so we both downloaded it and we both started using it. Then we introduced it to the entire team and said, I think this is a great way for us to basically instant message and really get fast responses rather than calling, especially if we're not in the office or something that's on your phone, you can still see it and respond fast. Mm -hmm. And we just adapted to it to really communicate and it was a nice way to just get a quick answer and instant message back and forth. I love the fact that you guys sort of organically found the tool and <laughs> that you took it upon yourselves to say, hey, this is a great platform for our department. We can use this effectively and it really will help streamline communication. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. so awesome. Mm -hmm. it, it has. It's, I think we're so accustomed to the speed of getting a text mm -hmm. 
And but when you're in your office space, you know, my phone's in my purse a lot of the times. Um, so you just get that text and it's up on your screen instead. And with the Welcome Center being across the street, it's been a really fast way for us, like Hayden said, to just keep in communication with one another and to send those messages and some images. Um, but, and, and you know, just to even say good morning yeah. because we don't see each other yeah. face to face. Right. It's been right. a really nice way to just say, hey, good morning, and we add each other in, and it's, you know, group chat. Right, for right. Us. So I know you guys have also installed it on your mobile phones, mm -hmm. staying connected you know, even while you're away from your computer. Mm -hmm. um, has that been helpful too, kind of having that connectivity with Teams and with the office, even even while you're away from your desk? Absolutely, especially being on the main campus if I had to go open a model or just go and open up something else for one of the retirement counselors. If Melissa needed me really fast, it would just pop up on my phone when any part of the building, and I can give her a fast response, which awesome. sometimes is needed yeah. with like parking, walk-ins, and everything over here. That's great. Right. Yeah. That's great. Or when we're giving tours, and then when I was working from home for a period of time, yes. that was a really, really great benefit to have. Yeah. 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 So have you all um, tapped into some of the voice and video features of Teams too, or is it mostly been the instant messaging? Mostly instant messaging. The video would be over here in the Welcome Center. We would put it up on our big TV. Okay. So if we had um, Teams meetings, then we would um, do it through the iPad and put it on the big screen for us to use. Yeah. So that Good. was the one way we've only used the video so far. Good. Good. And, and uh, joining a Teams meeting, is that uh, like every other meeting platform out there? Is it easier? Is it, is it it's better? It's very easy. Yeah. It's just like, the link and you're there. And you're in. <laughs> yeah, that's been a, uh, I think, a huge benefit for us at Cypress Living and Cypress at Home, too. Being able to do those virtual meetings um, without having to dial, you know, a phone number and then put in like a 12 digit code for the followed by a pound sign. It's, it's been really, really easy, I think, to join meetings and uh, it's, it's helped to really foster. Uh, great collaboration and communication in the wake of COVID-19 um, at the corporate office and at Cypress at Home. So um, it's been a great tool from that perspective. I'm so glad that you guys have found that way right now too. <laughs> so as we roll out Microsoft Teams to all of Cypress Cove, uh, we really want everyone to embrace this platform going forward. What would you tell your peers uh, about Microsoft Teams and why do you want them to use it the same way that you to be fast and efficient, especially nowadays with everything going on. It's just an easier way to communicate with someone and very efficient, definitely, rather than emails, especially when your emails can get so many ones that it's a faster way to see, oh, I have a message and I can go to through that way faster than trying to find an email that could be all the way to the bottom. So yeah. it's definitely an efficient way to communicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just the speed of it. The speed of it, and then you don't feel the need to to really write a whole email back. Like I could do a one-word answer and just send it on over instead of an email. I feel a little bit like I've got to write some sentences. <laughs> I'm so guilty of it. Long emails, you guys. And I, I get feedback on it regularly from people like, Joe, you could have summarized this. Uh, so yeah, I get it. I, I mean, just being able to fire off a quick one sentence, mm -hmm. one phrase. Yep, looks good. Mm -hmm. I like sending the giffies. Oh, me too. Oh, we do. In response <laughs> to things, you just send out the, the, the gif and it causes somebody to laugh. It just hopefully brightens your Absolutely. head. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's so. a little light to the day. It does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Well, we can't wait for you to use Microsoft Teams. We think it's going to be a super tool um, at Cypress Cove, and we hope it's really going to change the way that we communicate with one another. Um, we connect all of our employees and uh, can't wait for you to use it. So uh, check out the email and check out some of the attachments that are in the email. There's going to be some great helpful hints and some guides on best practices for using Microsoft Teams. And uh, reach out to us at any point if you have any questions about using Microsoft Teams. Reach out to these two as well. <laughs> They're experts in the Microsoft Teams platform. So. Beth and Hayden, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.